but no, his you're face right. says that. Yeah. Yeah. His face does say that's the one. Now. You're right. They do silly things. Yeah. But Karen and I actually are working very hard because, mm. as you say, we're out with them mm. all day, yeah. from maybe 7 in the morning till 7 at night, mm. 8 at night, mm. 10 at night, writing down everything. Mm. So we take it very seriously. Mm. We've got to, because after all, they've put themselves in the limelight, you know, yeah. people are having a snigger at them. We de they deserve to be reported accurately. Do they take it seriously? Added to which, if we don't report it accurately, we get a thick ear from <laughs> him indoors. Yeah. Yeah. Do you always agree with who he fires? Um, I think the answer to that is a truthful answer, and that is that on two occasions I've disagreed, mm -hmm. but we've had so many going through, I think he gets it right. Yeah, I really yeah. think mm. he gets it right. Mm. And his brilliance is to tee up the final three mm. so that I don't know who he's going to fire, and the guy on the squashy sofa in Scarborough with a pint of 6X doesn't know who's going to fire either yeah. because he makes them all equally culpable. Mm. That takes mm. skill. I don't in, live in on... Scarborough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on, um, in the second episode, he yeah. kind of shockingly fired somebody before he did the actual firing. Yeah. Did you know he was going to do that? No. No. He never tells oh, us. Gosh. No, because <laughs> let me tell you, that boardroom is a place of extraordinary terror. <laughs> They're terrified. Yes. Yeah. I'm quite terrified. <laughs> Karen's not very terrified. Uh, and the only one who knows what's going on yeah. is him. Oh. And he doesn't tell us. We might say, please, get rid of the blonde man or woman because <laughs> they're not very good. And he'll say they'll be fired when they deserve to be fired. Wow. It's a very honest show. Mm. Mm. And he doesn't tell us. 